All right, so what we have here is a Hampton Bay St. Clair ceiling fan, an antique brass, a 52 inch ceiling fan to be exact. I got it from Mark Wilson and along with the Infinity and the No Profile. This is the only one I'm able to forecast for the moment. The Infinity is currently in the process of being painted black, but um, there's been some complications I got in the way, so I'm not gonna really say what it is. But once that's finished being painted, I will do a video of it running. So um, yeah, for the time being, I'm just gonna do a video of this one. I should have the Infinity done, painted correctly by the end of next week. So I'm gonna take some time off. I don't have class on Monday, so that works out. I'm probably gonna get to some supplies and stuff like that to do what I need to do. But back to this fan. This fan, um, the light kit doesn't have, the chain for the light kit broke. But, so I took it off in a little knob right there for the full chain. And it actually is still in there just a tiny bit, but it won't like reach outside of this little knob. That's the only issue, and I did have the um, pull chain, the, like the actual pull chain of the fan, like the, of the hand to bait pendant right there, attached to that, but if you have it like, if you have the connector of the pull chain inside of there where the light kit is, or where the light pull chain is, to extend it, and um, it won't be able to pull, so, yeah. I mean, if I try to connect it from the outside, it won't work, because the chain on the inside of it is too short. But um, yeah, I really like this fan with oak blades. I'm not sure how much I'm going to like it with the, but it's supposedly a rosewood finish. And um, yeah, there's the canopy. It's a pretty neat canopy if you ask me. But um, yeah, these are major childhood fans. I never really saw too many of them as a fan, but they were they just made a childhood fan because I would see them in the Home Depot catalog from 2001. Uh, I'm just looking at it in the catalog right now. Um, yeah. It's frosted clear glass. That's what it's called in the catalog. These white the, the shades. Yeah, studio is going to be in the background for now on, so just like you know. So just don't really pay too much attention to it. So, um, yeah. But um, yeah, this fan does run pretty well despite the condition it's in. Even though it looks like it's in good condition, the blades are not in the best alignment. Which you guys will see. I, and I can't pull the weight chain, so I have to just unscrew them and unscrew them. And the whole entire switch housing is loose. One of them just tightened up a little bit, but yeah. So it's not really in the best shape to be installed. In fact, I don't even think it's a good idea to install it, considering how the switch housing is, since. The code of emergency that had had a loose switch housing as well, and, and I think it could have been a loose switch housing that messed up the whole thing. So I rather not risk getting this one messed up as well. So yeah. So let me go ahead and show the light. And yeah, as you can tell, there's nothing holding the shades in place except. The only thing that's really keeping them from falling is the the light bulbs themselves. So if it was on this, that's another thing that you won't really be able to use this light kit on it because there's really nothing that would hold them in place. Put it like this, so you guys can see, so it doesn't glare too much on the what the blades. But yeah, I think this fan looks be the best with oak blades, honestly. Yeah, I don't, when I saw the other fans, I wasn't really digging it too much compared to the oak side. But that's just me. Also, I feel like antique brass fans look best with oak blades. Depending on the other blade finish. This one, I'm not really too big on the rosewood. But if it was actual rosewood, like the rosewood that like the hand to make carriage house 2 has, I think that would look better on it. But I also, I also think that the antique, since um, this fan is more classy looking, I feel like oak would, would look best on it. It just gives it more of a vintage and this gives it an older look with the um, oak blades. If it, would, if it was more of a modern looking older fan like the St. Clair 2, it would look better with the more modernized rosewood. But that's just me. I just think the oak looks better on this fan than that's just it. But, um, yeah. Let me go, go ahead and loosen. Oh, shoot. The lights are getting hot already. 
So yeah, I might not even be able to keep the lights on too long from the video. Oh, actually, no, I was just like, tightening that one too much. I had to hold it on longer than I was expecting to. But, um, yeah. It's a pretty nice fan. So let me go ahead and start the fan off on low. Switch housing. There we, there we go. Yeah, just, I'm just gonna leave it. It's a very stubborn fan, so I don't know if it looks very crooked on video, but hopefully it doesn't. If you're wondering what that sound is in the background, I do have my AC on. Okay, it's pretty hot in here. If it was off. phone sorry about that 72 degrees but it's 97 humidity so yeah it's pretty hot it was just the humidity that's really bothering me and I hate when it's very humid out so yeah I need the AC on I do feel a tiny bit of air from it on though not much though. Just so you can see the, how bad of window I'm in is. I'm just going to put it like this so you can see it against the um, CDs. You can kind of see it better that way. Okay, maybe show it on low with the lights on. It is a very nice looking fan, especially with the lights on. Honestly, if this fan could have, if I could have a fan in the dining room, I don't care that it's a Hampton Bay, I would be putting this one in there. Or an antique vest Victorian bush, so I'm not getting anytime soon. Since Brandon doesn't want to sell me his. <laughs> which, I can't, which I can't blame him, but. This, just the fact that this one has a very nice looking white can, also it's five weight. I, I do prefer a five weighted fan for the. I don't know, I feel like, I just feel like this would just be a good fan for that room wouldn't be used much. Although I do prefer natural Victorian, I wouldn't mind putting this one in there. If I was able to put one up there, to, to be exact. In fact, I, I think I would actually put this in my mom's bedroom instead. If I was able to put a fan there. I would like to put the right at home in there, the green hunter right at home, but um, I feel like this would be a better fit for her. The only thing is, I don't think she would, I don't know if she would, she would dislike the Oakway, so I don't think, I know she likes the reddish rosewood, but I don't know if she would like the rosewood that this fan has. But, um, yeah, let me go ahead and shut off the light. Lights, not light. Since in this case, I had to unscrew all, un loosen them up a tiny bit. And let's go ahead and move the fan up to medium. Now it needs to be loosened up a tiny bit more. There we go. Yeah, the video's gonna be a little bit longer compared to the other one because I'm still trying to like readjust to doing four dozen videos and not keeping them too long. But same time, I'm showing it the way, so obviously it's gonna be a little bit longer since I showed the light on with on each speed as well. 
Yeah, that looks too crooked for my liking. Sorry, I am a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to recording fan videos. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do it like that. There's really no point fighting with this fan. It's gonna win either way. The way kid is starting to move a tiny bit low. What a torch housing that is. Okay, let me show it the lights. Just looking at this video, I am getting tired. In fact, I did show it a bit on node for a bit too long. I also need to do a spin down and then show it on reverse after I show it on high. The other issue is I don't think my mom would like to have a fan like this in a bedroom with the blade arms being so bent the way they are. Yeah, this would definitely be a perfect fan for a bedroom to be honest. I honestly prefer having this in her bedroom than the living room. I mean I like having the code that we're in the living room but I, I don't know I'm just not really one that wants something too fancy for the living room. I like to have something that's more simple that's just how I've always been. For my mom, some is where I've always wanted something that's more unique looking. This is why I actually like the Opal Fire more than the Code that person see. It's actually right out here, so I kind of feel bad saying it, saying it in front of it. As if it had feelings, but. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This fan is moving a good amount of your medium. Now, make sure off the whites. Alright, let's go ahead and move this fan up to high. I like it's gonna move either way, so I'm not even gonna bother straightening it out. Even though it's a Hampton Bay fan, I feel like this one look great in anybody's living room or dining room. Or bedroom. Like, if this, this is your style, that is. But it also depends on the furniture you have, but I feel like this fan will look great in in most places. Like, this styled fan, that is. If you're looking for a natural console on the Victorian, hey, it's all, by all means, go for it. But if you can't find one, and you find these more often, these, aren't, these will definitely do the job, without a doubt. The only thing is mine is just a little bit beat up, but that's the only sad part. That's a little dance to it, that's basically what it is. The other thing is for the spin down, it's not too long, so I don't have to wait too long. Short on reverse. Yeah, this is making the infinity move. I'm not gonna show it because I already showed that 
happening in the video of it with the old boy to fall away. We're getting closer to you guys in here the air movement. I can even feel like a nice breeze from it, like a very good breeze from it just from right here where I'm sitting. This can definitely cool down a large room without, a, without any issues from. It moves very similar air movement to a hunter. I'm actually gonna be honest with you about that part. I mean, well I'm always honest with my videos, but I mean it's actually pretty close to a hunter air movement. It's not exactly, but it's, it's probably it's probably just as powerful as the hands of a camera, to be honest. It's not that bad of a knockoff of a Victorian, to be honest. I've seen, from what I've been hearing, some other ones are worse, but it's what I've been hearing. It's kind of mixed on the fan community. Some people just don't like it because the hands in bay, and some people do don't mind it because it's actually a decent air performer or it's a decent fan and I think it's I think it's alright it's not a bad fan it's not as good as Cosmogra but it's actually not too bad I give it like a 7 out of I give it like a 6 out of 10 just because it's not as good as a Hunter or Cosmogra but it's well I give it more like a 7 out of 10 to be honest just for it being a performer but for it's quality compared to Cosmogra but as a performer just moving air I give it like 7.5 out of 10 It is moving a very good amount of air. I don't see that much for him. Well, I already said he's an amount, as always. Make sure it was the white while it's on high. Yes, yeah, so this video is going to be a bit long. I do apologize. When I have some time, I will put in the um, description like time here. So if you just want to move to the next part. It's not like, well, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm just too, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. See, I'd be more tempted to put this in a dining room than a living room, in my opinion. I just feel like the dining room is something that's more for show, like to have like fancier stuff, and the living room is just more for room just to have stuff. That's just how I feel. Some people will see the other way around, but I, I feel like the dining room is more like where you should have. I just like have a dining room that looks more classy compared to a living room. I feel like the living room just should just be simple and just feel comfy. I don't know. It's really it's a beautiful fan, but I just feel like I don't know. I like the cold up in the living room at the old place, but in this place. I just feel like it'll just be some. It'll be too fancy for the living room for what it is. But it's not that it looks too. I don't know. I just feel like it, a simpler fan looks better there. That's just my personal touch, and that's also my. I'm the one that uses the living room the most. My mom might not. I don't think she's gonna like. She likes the world profile a lot more than the code actually told me. Even though the code looks some be more attractive looking, she just thinks it was just a bit too fancy for the living room, and I do agree to to on that point. Especially in this newer looking apartment, and it wouldn't look fit in that well compared to the other one which was older, so I had to take that into consideration. Alright, it's about to be 20 minutes into the video, so I'm gonna shut the fan off and do a spin down. But first, I'm gonna shut off the lights. You know what, when I put it on reverse, I'm not even gonna show it with the lights, that's just gonna be a rule. Well, for this video specifically, I'm probably not gonna do it. So it's just mostly taking a while to unscrew them. Yeah, I do apologize for the video being a bit lengthy, but when it's a fan like this, it's being a pain, like, and complicated, it's kind of hard to keep the video short. I'm trying to be sure enough I don't trip on it and stuff like that, but like, it's never happened before. I don't really think that would happen, but like, I just want to be sure like, the chain that's wrapped around the um, arm of the like, it doesn't get loose and fall. Or start hitting the um, fan.
I still need to show um, the fan shelf, but um, I'm going to start moving some of my fans down there sooner or later because there's well, more fans coming in. I need to make some space for the fans I want to test up here. And once I've tested it, I'm probably not going to be testing for a while. I'm just going to put it downstairs. Or just the ones that are cheaper quality fans. I'm going to try to keep the better quality fans up here. But also, I just want to get the tarp to cover them up. I just don't want them to be too visible. Nobody's going to steal them, but it's just mostly so they don't get too much dust on them. That's just the main reason. So I'm not going to be going down there every day, like every few days. Or every other day. Probably every few days. When I come back from college, I have to feel like commute. Maybe too, I'll be too tired to check every single day on them. Side reverse. I'm not gonna show the weight just to keep this video short as short as possible. High, medium, low. It's a little bit. It's way. It's much longer than I wanted it to be. But I'm not. I'm gonna start over. If it was early in the day, I'd definitely start over to make it a bit shorter. But. Yes, I'm not starting over at this time. Okay. I actually know how to show it the lights quickly. Very quickly though, not that long. Like maybe 10 seconds at most. Because the video's gonna be long either way, so you no point in trying to make it any shorter since. Alright, nice shot white. The lights, that is. Now let's move the fan up to medium. White. Okay, that works way too quick. I can maybe just fix it a tiny bit. There we go. Shut off the lights. And let me go ahead and move the fan up to high. That one's not loose enough. There we go.
10 minutes while I'm doing the video. I need to work on this. Sorry, guys. But I do promise that the next video is not going to be this long. So it's the next fan I put in the test. Whether it be the Studio Series remote or the Infinity. I'm definitely going to keep it under 20 minutes. I'll, even if it's over 25 minutes, I'll, over 20 minutes, I'm just going to start over. Alright. Oh, it's light. I'm just gonna leave this, this thing crooked. I'm, I'm, I'm done playing around with it. See, if this thing was installed like that with those light shades bouncing around so much, that would be another issue. Let me shut off the fan. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos to come.